Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix iPhone blue screen of death. So, your iPhone screen turns blue. You're using your iPhone for entertainment. Then the screen suddenly has a blue tint suddenly with some blue streaks. Sometimes, the iPhone blue screen just occurs for a few seconds then goes back to normal. In other cases, the whole iPhone screen is blue, which becomes unresponsive to any touch or tap. You might wonder, does the iPhone have a blue screen issue? Why does it occurs and how to fix the blue screen of death on iPhone? We'll explain all these questions for you. Now, let's move on. Do iOS devices have a blue screen of death? The blue screen of death, which is also called BSOD or so as kernel screen, is commonly seen in a computer. Generally, from Apple's official website, any iOS device doesn't have a blue screen of death. If you find your iPhone screen has a blue tint or becomes blue all of a sudden, there might be something with the device. Why did your iPhone screen suddenly go blue? The blue screen problem could happen if there is something wrong with the software. For example, wrong display color adjustment, old operating system version, unknown malware, malfunctioning apps. It can be also caused by hardware problems like overheating, crack screen, loose display connector, water damage, and so on. Next, we'll show you a few iPhone blue screen solutions to revert the display back to normal. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods to fix the blue screen step by step. Besides, if you have any question, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Disable the True Tone feature. There is a setting named True Tone on your iPhone used to adjust the white balance of your display based on the ambient lighting. If you find a heavy blue tint on the iPhone screen when using low brightness, this feature should be enabled. To check it, swipe up from the top of the screen and open the control center. Long press the brightness control icon. Turn off True Tone icon and go back to the home screen. Now, see if your phone screen goes back to normal state. Force your iPhone to restart. How the screen shows the color is controlled by both the software and hardware. If the software gets crashed or glitched temporarily, it's likely that you get stuck on the iPhone blue screen. Simply do a forced restart to fix up the crashes or glitches. Depending on different iPhone models, the steps might be a little bit different. In an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. In an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device, press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. In an iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. After your iPhone turns on, the color balance should be back to the general one if the software glitch is the cause. Go into recovery mode to update iOS. I know sometimes when you see a blue screen on iPhone, the whole display might fail to respond to your touch and tap. So, I'll show you an advanced step to contact your phone using recovery mode. By letting your iPhone go into recovery mode, you can then use the iTunes, Finder, or Apple devices in a computer to connect with the phone. Then, it'll give you two options. One is to do an update without losing data. The other one is to do a factory reset by deleting everything on the device. Here, we'll show you how to enter recovery mode and update iOS to fix iPhone screen blue tint. Download, install and open Apple devices, iTunes, Finder on your computer. Connect your iPhone to a computer via a cable. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the blue screen disappears and recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the blue screen goes away and the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the blue screen removes and the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, keep your phone connected to the computer. Apple devices, iTunes, Finder should detect your iPhone and ask you to update or restore your device. Click the update option and finish the following instructions that are left until the update process begins to get rid of the blue screen of death on iPhone. Once done, take a look to see if your the color balance of your iPhone screen is normal. 
Factory reset iPhone in recovery mode. Most of time, installing the latest iOS firmware update is enough to fix up the hanging software in error when your iPhone screen is just a bit blue tint. If that doesn't help, you might need to restore your iPhone back to its factory settings. As this will erase all the content and settings on your phone, you'd better attempt this method after you check you have archives for important data. All right now, we'll show you how to go into recovery mode and do a factory restore. Plug your iPhone into the computer and run Apple devices, iTunes, Finder. Then, press the buttons to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the blue screen disappears and recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the blue screen goes away and the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the blue screen removes and the recovery mode screen appears. Then, go to Apple Devices, iTunes, or Finder. Select the Restore option and complete the following instructions. After that, the restore will start, removing everything on your iPhone including the error that causes your iPhone screen to go blue. Just wait until the device shows a hello screen like a new phone. Set it up to see if the blue screen or blue tint disappears. Get your iPhone repaired. If the iPhone blue screen of death remains after the reset, you most likely need to get the phone screen repaired. This is especially true if you've recently dropped your phone on the ground or exposed it to liquid. If your iPhone is still under one-year warranty or you bought AppleCare Plus service, it's possible to fix the iPhone blue screen without paying hundreds of dollars. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix iPhone blue screen issues. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, Please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.